It has two tracks here, but it does not tell you to put the tracks on. It just simply tells you to attach the, uh, the, the commode basin. So you want to make sure that when you put on these rails right here, and these rails are also going to be the rails for the back. Another thing that I read in, the, uh, in a lot of the comments is that the legs are not all the same size. Every leg has the push button lock. And again, it could be that, that maybe there's one leg shorter than the rest because it's not in the locked position. So we just picked up this four in one shower chair and commode for my mother-in-law who's getting ready to have knee surgery. And we thought that this would be really helpful for her to have it close to the couch and then you can also put it into the shower. Now you had to assemble this from the ground up. You had to put all the legs in, all the screws in. It was really simple, easy to do. And uh, there's a couple of things that I do want to point out. So when you are assembling the chair, these screws right here, um, are, they're, they're really pretty tight. You got uh, four of them here, and then you got four of them that look like this. Now I put on a pair of gloves just because uh, it really hurt my hand trying to get those things to turn in and get them really snug. Uh, so just take that, uh, just remember that when you're putting that together, that they are really tight. They're not going to come out, and uh, you may want to use some gloves just to protect your hands. Another thing that's not in the, in the instruction booklet is the commode uh, basin. It has two tracks here, but it does not tell you to put the tracks on. It just simply tells you to attach the, uh, the, the commode basin. So you want to make sure that when you put on these rails right here, and these rails are also going to be the rails for the back. This is all one piece that goes underneath the chair, and then this is your back. You want to make sure that you put your rails on at the same time. Those rails will only go in one way, so you can't mess that up. And so uh, when you do come to the end of the instruction booklet, you can get your basin and you can slide it in the track and it, it glides real easy. Again, they don't put that in the instruction booklet, so you want to make sure that you, you get that yourself. Now, this is a really sturdy chair. It's going to hold 400 pounds and it is completely adjustable. So you can adjust this uh, six different times to fit your height and every leg has the push button lock. You do have to put the stickers on the top. Now when you're ready to use the commode, you can pull that top part off. You can pull out your, your bucket here and pull the lid off and then you're, you're ready to go. Now they do give you two different sets of feet. These are smaller feet and they're beveled a little bit, so it might work better in your shower uh, or it might work better in the tub. We went ahead and went with the larger feet just for greater stability. This is going to fit best in a shower and uh, it's going to work really well if you've got a, a shower head like this so that you can you can hang your shower head there while you are washing your rest of the body and then uh, you can pull it off that hook and use it how you will. This is a, a standard, actually this is a little bit uh, narrow tub and this is not going to fit in here except like this. Now I could leave it in here just like this and pull an arm off and use the, uh, use the, the shower chair like that. But again, it's going to work best if you have it in, in your standard size shower and uh, be able to have that facing forward. The chair weighs about 17 pounds. You can pick it up from the armrests or you can use the handle that's provided in the back. Again, it's, it's really easy to move around. It's pretty convenient. It's a non-slip feet and so you're going to be pretty safe. Again, it's going to hold about 400 pounds. I'm 200. I'm 5'4", and I've got this set on the lowest setting, and for me, this is where I would leave it, just because uh, it's comfortable, and uh, my feet are flat on the floor, floor, I'm stable, and I'll be able to use the arms to push up, and by the way, you can put a lot of force on them, on them arms to help raise you up. Very comforting to know that uh, my mother-in-law is going to be safe using this commode, using the shower chair, however she chooses to use it. The backrest is really strong, and uh, and yeah, it's going to be really good as she recovers from her knee surgery. And uh, whatever you may have going on there that you're going to need the shower chair and commode, this one right here is a really nice one that I would definitely recommend.